And now they can. Okay. And then it'll go red. There it is. And then, but nobody's on there right now. Yeah, so it doesn't but, really matter. Uh, but yeah, so it's red, and so then that's, so then you can tell if if your internet starts puking, this thing will turn orange or red. It'll say the health is not good or whatever it says, or you're okay. you're screwing up badly. Okay, can you hear me? I'm not very, I don't know that I'm very loud. I there can hear go. you. Okay. You want me to turn you up a little bit? No, it doesn't matter. Oh, there we go. Okay. Now I'm really loud. I got it. So, so that's there, and then in Wirecast, then I record for um, the TV. Gotcha. So we're about to go there. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another broadcast of Mustang Volleyball on SheridanCountyJournalStar.net. Wow, a whole bunch of folks already online with us. Thanks for joining us down here in Morrill. The 16-minute pregame clock has just started, and so the countdown is on to the first serve between the Gordon Rushville Mustangs and the Morrill Lions. It is a pink out tonight here in Morrill. This is the Morrill team wearing all pink and many of their fans as well wearing pink. And so fun times here in Morrill. We will step aside. We'll be back with starting lineups in just a bit here on Sheridan County Journal Star.net. Don't fret, we're gonna mute the sound until we get ready to go a little closer to game time. So check back in just a bit. 14 minutes and 40 seconds left to go before the opening serve between the Mustangs and the Lions.
10 minutes left to go in the pregame warm-ups between the Gordon Rushville Mustangs and the Morrill Lions. The pink out here at Morrill, as you can see on your screen, Clint Anderson along with camera person and color commentator analyst extraordinaire Berkeley Haig with you here this afternoon from Morrill. Let's take a look at the starting lineups. First for the Morrill Lions, this is a senior heavy lineup for Morrill. They will start uh, five seniors and one junior, I believe, is how this is going to work. The starters for Morrill, number six is Liliana Martin, and she is a 5'11 junior. Number three is Shaylin Lackey. She is a five foot six inch senior. Number five is Bailey Steiner. She is a five foot nine inch senior. And number seven is Caitlin Margheim. She is a 5'7 senior. Jada West, number two, she is a 5'6 senior. And Jessica Harvey, number four, she is a five foot seven inch senior. So a team with a whole lot of experience on the floor for the Morrill Lions. Their season record is 9 and 15, so hasn't been as successful as all of these seniors would certainly like for it to be, with a lot of experience on the floor for the Morrill Lions tonight. For the Mustangs, they come into tonight's match with a season record of 14 wins and 8 losses after they went 3 and 1 over the weekend at the Valentine, was it in Valentine, Berkeley? Yes. The Valentine tournament where they defeated Kozad, Valentine, and Ainsworth and lost to Shadron. Shadron. Everybody loses to Shadron. <laughs> so uh, it was a good weekend for the Mustangs at the tournament. So 14 and 8 starters this evening for the Mustangs in the first set. Number one, Shania Friesman. Number two is Carly Hinn. Number five is Sierra Garrett. Number eight is Faith Bramer. Number 13 is Josie Perez, and number 14 is Kylie Peters. The Mustangs without the services of Sierra Anderson this evening, as Sierra is in, uh, is it Louisville? Where is the National FFA Convention? Indianapolis. Yeah. Indianapolis at the National FFA Convention as she is competing there. What contest is she? Ag in? Communications. Ag Communications for Sierra Anderson. So congratulations to Sierra as uh, don't always, don't get many chances to compete on a national level. And she's certainly taking advantage of that in Indianapolis this week at the National FFA Convention. Mustangs will miss her senior leadership here this evening. So getting the start in her place, number 14, Kylie Peters. 7.15 to go in the pregame warmups. Berkeley, why don't you tell us about some of our sponsors while we have an opportunity? And I'm going to go make sure that we pronounce all of the names right for the opposing team. All right. Looking for a home in the area? Barb Share has a great four-bedroom, two-bath home on a big lot in Gordon with a great garage and a privacy fenced-in backyard. Located at 229 North Sheridan Street, it can be yours for only $95,000. Give Barb a call at 308-282-1516, and she'll get you taken care of. You can also browse her current listings on her website www.sharerealestate.com Don't miss the Gordon Theater Open House Steak Dinner and Auction Saturday, November 12th. There's no better way to finish your opening day of deer season than with a delicious steak dinner for only $20 and bid on some great auction items with local auctioneer Sean Combs. All to support the reopening of the Gordon Movie Theater. Because quality of life means everything, Gordon Chiropractic is dedicated to your wellness. We offer solutions for all aspects of your health, including acupuncture and nutrition, as well as professional chiropractic care and soft tissue rehabilitation for sports and job-related injuries. Come see how Dr. John Friesman can help you live a better, healthier life, starting today. Did you know... Strong Insurance is your independent insurance agency. We represent a variety of insurance companies and sell the products that most appropriately meet the needs of our clients. As an independent agent, we review many quotes and offer our clients the best policy options available. We don't work for any one insurance company, we work for you.
Five minutes to go before we get things underway here from Morrill. And before we get things going, uh, Morrill, uh, always one of the, the more fun places that we come to broadcast. We don't get down here a lot, but the hospitality here is absolutely second to none. They uh, are always ready to help us out with anything that we need. They, they take great care of us here and they do it with a smile and just fabulous, uh, fabulous folks down here in Morrill and we always appreciate that a whole lot. So uh, uh, next time you see somebody from Morrill, tell them thanks. They really, they do things right down here. So with that, we'll step aside for a word from our sponsors. Summer is still here. Make the most of it with this brand new 2017 Ford Mustang convertible at Sides of Milburn Ford in Rushville. This Mustang features the EcoBoost Premium Package with leather interior and My Ford Touch. Come to Sides of Milburn Ford on Highway 20 in Rushville to take a look at this great car. Call Chris or Jared at 308-327-2472 or visit SidesandMilburn.com. Sides and Milburn is proud to sponsor the Gordon Rushville Mustangs. One minute left to go before the opening serve of tonight's volleyball match between the Gordon Rushville Mustangs and the Moral Lions. Thanks to everybody who's tuned in tonight. Nice sized group along with us this evening. That always makes it fun. Our next volleyball broadcast will be a week from tonight. The Mustangs will be participating in a, in a triangular with Bridgeport and Mitchell. I'm not sure if that's going to be at Mitchell or at Bridgeport. It's been at Mitchell in the past. Either way, we're going to be there to bring it for you, or bring it to you. And uh, so make sure you tune in on next Tuesday afternoon as the Mustangs will take on the Bridgeport Bulldogs and the Mitchell Tigers. Also, the Mustangs will play their last football game of the season this Friday night. They travel to Cozad. And we are very excited to bring that game to you from Cozad as the Mustangs take on the Haymakers. So tune in. That is set for a 5 o'clock Mountain Time start. 
So check it out on Friday as we are just about ready for the national anthem and the introductions of the starting lineups. We'll switch to the external microphone for all of those activities.
apologies for having to mute uh, the uh, the national anthem on you there. We um, if we let copyrighted music come over the broadcast, we get pop-ups that show up uh, on the broadcast, which I know is exceedingly annoying. It is at least for me, and we don't like that to happen to you. And that was a turned out to be a copyrighted recording, and I uh, so apologize for that. And then forgot to turn the sound back on. So uh, that was on our end and not on your end. I'm glad that you stuck with us through that. And the uh, starters, in case you missed them, for the Moral Lions. Number six, Liliana Martin. Number three, Shaylin Lackey. Number five, Bailey Steiner. Number seven, Caitlin Mardheim. Number two is Jada West. Number four is Jessica Harvey. And number 10 is Stephanie Terran. For the Mustangs, Friesman, Hinn, Garrett, Bramer, Josie Perez, and number 14, Kylie Peters getting the start in place of Sierra Anderson this evening. As Sierra Anderson is not with the team tonight as she's in Indianapolis at the state FFA convention, as you probably heard earlier, or state national FFA convention, that's what it is. So we are ready to go. Moral with the serve to start things off here. Got a bad angle, I can't tell you who that is. That is number three, Shaylin Lackey on the serve. Mustangs to work. Miscommunication by Morrill that time between Martin and Harvey. And the Mustangs lead it one to zero. So this will be Josie Perez. The attack by Mardheim. And now here are the Mustangs. The tip by Hinn over the top and down for a Mustang point. Two to zero Mustangs with the early lead. Deep serve that time and out. A service error on Josie Perez. And now Stephanie Terran, the libero, will serve. Josie sets it up and nobody home. Carly Hinn and Faith Bramer each looking at each other. A little miscommunication there. We're tied at two. Deep serve by Taryn. Here's Bramer on the attack and that one is long. And so Morrill has scored three straight. They now lead it three to two. Josie Perez sets it for Carly Hinn in the middle. Uh, here's Harvey with the big swing. And on the overpass, now Morrill back to work. Harvey with the attack again. Bragg is there to dig it out of the back row. Friesman from the back row. That's off of Terran and out of bounds. The Mustangs even the score at three. into the game for the Mustangs to serve is Paige Linders. And Paige puts that one into the net, not at all what she had planned to do. And Morrill back in front, four to three. Jessica Harvey to serve. Harvey's nickname here, if you heard it on the public address on the introductions, is there's an ace by Harvey. The nickname is the Hammer, very athletic. An outstanding basketball player as well for the Morrill Lions. So five to three, two point advantage for Morrill. Another good serve by Harvey. Josie Perez tracks that down. And the quick tip caught the Mustangs unaware. Nicely done that time by Shaylin Lackey. And it's a three point Morrill Lion advantage. Another good serve by Lackey, or excuse me, uh, Harvey. She is giving Beth Bragg fits. That one is in the net, and the Mustangs won't shed any, any tears over that. Seven to four, and Carly Hinn back to serve. Set it up for on the attack. That was Jada West on the attack. Now here's Friesman with the big kill. And the Mustangs back within two. Friesman with a pair of kills in the early going. 
Mustangs trail seven to five. Again to serve it up again. Margheim with the bump, but it comes over to the Mustang side. And that free ball back to Morrill. Set it for West. Her attack is long and out of bounds. No, oh, they say there is a touch. And that'll be a point for the Morrill Lions. Eight to five. And Margheim back to serve. And that one is, nobody saw it. It was right in the corner. Neither, neither line judge saw it. It was, from up here, it looked like it was right on the line. Neither line judge saw it. I'm not sure how they managed that. And so they'll reserve. And that one is long. So the Mustangs get a break there. Cuts the lead to eight to six. Peters out and Gracie Perez comes in. Gracie will serve. Gracie drops that one in. There's West on the attack. And now Gracie sets it up for Sister Josie. Big swing by Josie and down for the kill. Mustangs back within one. Josie's first kill of the night. And it's eight to seven. That one's punched over. They'll set it in the middle for Friesman. Big swing and down to the floor. Shania's got another, and that evens the score at eight apiece. Third kill of the set for Shania. Always good to get her involved in the offense early and often. Margheim with the set. West, but Hinn is there. Gracie sets it up for Josie. Somehow, that was a great defensive play by Morrill, but Friesman puts it to the floor. Morrill in the net, they're gonna say, so Shania won't get credit for the kill. And the Mustangs back in front, nine to eight. Gracie into the middle for Shania. That one is off of the Libero, Libero Terran into the Raptors and back down for another Mustang point. Mustangs trailed six to three. They now lead it 10 to eight. Deep serve that time by Gracie and a little too far beyond the end line, 10 to nine. Terran comes out and back into the lineup comes Liliana Martin. Josie Perez out of the back row. Return to the Mustangs, joust at the net. Garrett sends it across successfully. Now they'll set it up for Martin. Punched across by Gracie. Set it back up for West. She tries the dip and it falls to the floor for a Mustang point. It's 11 to nine. Two Mustang blockers up there that time. And now we'll see Shania Friesman. Markheim on the attack was Lackey. Now here's Josie Perez with a good hard swing. More miscommunication and another Mustang point. 12 to nine. Markheim for Harvey out of the back row, off the blockers. Mustangs go to work. Here's Josie. The swing and the kill. Josie's got two. And now the Mustangs have opened up a four-point lead at 13 to 9. We'll set it for Harvey just over the blockers. Gracie pops that up with one hand and the free ball across by Garrett to the deep corner off of Terran for another point. 
Technically, I guess that's probably a kill for Sierra Garrett. And a timeout called by the Morrill Lions. Mustangs out in front by five at 14 to nine. Proudly celebrating over 125 years of locally made decisions and supporting our community, First National Bank wishes the Mustangs good luck this season. Ask us about our competitive student checking accounts. Family owned since 1932, Strong Insurance is your independent insurance company offering all forms of insurance. Stop in today at 224 North Main Street in Gordon. Come bank with the best. Bank of the West offers all banking services, including mortgages. Come enjoy our welcoming atmosphere. The coffee pot's always on. Located at 205 North Main Street in Gordon. The Mustangs out of the timeout. They've got a five-point lead at 14 to nine. They're on a nice run here. Shania Friesman with the serve. That one is deep. And they get the side out. 14 to 10. So this will be uh, Jada West to serve. And West served beyond the end line as well. So both teams trading service errors. And now Sierra Garrett will serve. They set it for Harvey tight to the net. And Harvey able to tip it over for the kill. And that is an ace for Shaylin Lackey. And a three point lead. Bramer up at the net, and the Mustangs out of system here. Josie and Gracie look at each other kind of, <laughs> whose was that? They'll get it sorted out. Back to a two-point game at 15 to 13. They'll set it for Friesman off the block of Martin and down for the kill. Friesman's fourth. Gracie Perez out, Kylie Peters in, Josie Perez to serve. Set it for Margheim from the left side. Into the middle for Hinn. And that one, they're gonna say no touch. It is long and a point for the Moral Lions. Martin out and Bailey Steiner into the front row. Josie sets it in the middle for Carly. Big swing past the block and down. That's Carly's second kill of the set. Pushes it back to 17-14. And now Paige Linders. That's an ace for Paige. Taryn couldn't handle it. to 14. Page sends another one deep. This will be Taryn and her attack is wide. And another point for the Mustangs, 19 to 14. Free ball across by Josie Perez, Morrill goes to work. I'll set it for West out of the back row, and she launches one just off the sideline for another Mustang point. It's 20 to 14. They set it for Harvey off the top of the net, but the Mustangs recover. Here's Friesman. Big swing and another kill for Shania Friesman. Friesman's got five in this first set, and Morrill will use their second time out of the set. Mustangs out in front, 21 to 14. Fall is officially here, and there's a lot to be done around your home and yard. Gordon True Value has everything you need to get your home and yard ready for fall and winter. 
Come see Buck and the gang at 217 North Main Street in Gordon. Open seven days a week. Come see Hins Home Furnishings completely remodeled store. New items are arriving daily. They have a full line of appliances, sofas, recliners, mattresses, and much more. Even if you don't see it, they can get it for you. They also offer free local delivery. Remember, every dollar you spend locally keeps money in our community. The Mustangs with a seven point advantage late in this first set. This is the point where they really had difficulty against Alliance. They just couldn't quite finish the Bulldogs off. They had them down late in the game, but couldn't quite finish them. There's Margheim and, or not Margheim, excuse me. That is uh, Lackey on the attack, and it is long for a Mustang point. Good serve that time by Linders. Josie sets it up for Carly Hinn, slaps it to the deep corner. That one is on the line for a Mustang point. Carly's got three, 23 to 14. Linders puts it in play. That's another ace for Paige Linders. Serving the ball well in this first set. 24 to 14, set point for the Mustangs. Mustangs are there for the dig. They'll set it for Friesman. Off the block and down for the Mustang winner. Shania Friesman with six kills in the set. And the Mustangs take the first set 25 to 14. I'd like to take this opportunity to, uh, opportunity to apologize to all of you who might have been watching uh, our last volleyball broadcast of the Mustangs and the Alliance Bulldogs. Our broadcast software crashed just at the exact wrong moment. And... Uh, there was no way to get things back online. Uh, it, it, was, uh, it was fatal for sure. And so uh, the Mustangs went on, to, went on to lose and two outstanding sets to the Alliance Bulldogs, 27-25 and 27-25. They had opportunities at the end, but just couldn't quite finish the Bulldogs off. But they don't waste any time here this evening. They win the first set 25-14. Since the early 1900s, the theater has been a cornerstone of our community. Over the years, the movies have come and gone due to fires and other unfortunate events. Now, we have a chance to do what others have done before us and rebuild. With your help, we can once again have a theater right here in beautiful Gordon, Nebraska. Give our community a safe place of entertainment, help attract new doctors, teachers, and businesses, and help support the ones we already have. Donations can be sent to Bank of the West, 205 North Main Street, Gordon, Nebraska. Let's bring the movies back. Oh, well, the Mustangs back out on the floor. And the second set, to start the second set, and taking the place of Sierra Anderson, will be Devin Tinsvold. She's number seven, the left side of that front row. Garrett comes out, brag in, as the Mustangs will have the serve to start things off here in the second set. Josie ready to start things up. And I'm trying to get my, uh, that was a point for Morrill as I was working on the scoreboard, trying to make sure that everything's ready to go here. So Morrill in front one to zero in the early going. Josie sets it in the middle for Carly Hinn. Past the blockers and down to the floor. Mustangs tie it at one. In that first set, Shania Friesman led the way. She had six kills in the first set. Carly in with three, Josie Prez with two, and Sierra Garrett with one. So Paige Linders to serve. She had a nice run to end the game, or end that first set. And there's an overpass, and down to the floor off the net, and a point for the Mustangs. And a free ball back to the Mustangs. Josie behind her to 
Garrett. And it falls to the floor on the Moral Lions side. It's three to one. Clint, that wasn't Garrett, that was tenfold. Oh, that was Devin. Sorry, thanks Berkeley. Berkeley's job is to keep me in line up here. And she does a good job of it. Give Devin Tinsvold credit for that one. A tip try, but Josie Perez is there. Carly Hinn tried the quick dump over the net. Got a little too much of it. Makes it three to two. Josie sets it across for Shania. Free ball across by Margheim. Josie with the back set. That's a fairly high degree of difficulty there, and Josie unhappy with herself. She didn't get that one up high enough for Carly to work with. Tied at three. Josie sets it up for Friesman, and she sends it right down to the floor in a hurry. Now Sierra Garrett into the game as Beth Bragg goes to the bench. Carly Hinn's serve, handled by Taryn. Now Margheim across, and a lift going to be called on the Mustangs. That'll tie it back up at four. Jessica Harvey back to serve. She has got a wicked serve. The Mustangs are going to get this one across, and then a battle between... Uh, between uh, Lackey and Terran results in a Mustang point. It's five to four. Well, Tinsvold out, Gracie Perez in to serve. Good serve that time by Gracie Perez. And here's Garrett with the set. Friesman, and that's blocked at the net. And a point for Morrill. Margheim to serve. Carly Hinn with a big swing and down to the back line for a Mustang point. And it's six to five. Bramer comes in for Linders. Friesman back to serve. Margheim sets it in the middle for West. Perez pops it up and here's Garrett with the free ball over. Harvey from the back row. Friesman can't handle it. The Mustangs just can't quite get that one back across after it came down hard out of the rafters. Tied at six. Well, Bailey Steiner will serve. Gracie sets it up for Josie. Big swing and a little too much adrenaline behind that one. It's well out of bounds. And now Morrill back in front at seven to six. Gracie pops it back behind her. Margheim with the set. The Mustangs are ready. That one caught a rafter and quickly back down to the floor, and that'll mess the timing up on anybody. And it's eight to six. This is one of the few places with rafters as low as uh, the gym in Gordon, maybe even a little bit lower. We'll set it up for Josie Perez. And that one's not going to be returned by the Lions. We're tied. No, excuse me, eight to seven. Mustangs back within one. Sierra Garrett to serve. Blocked at the net by Carly Hinn. That's what the Mustangs wanted. Tied at eight. Carly got up and knocked that one right back down to the floor. Garrett, the freshman, has got a lot of playing time here this season. And that one, somehow they cut the 
angle and kept it in bounds inside the antenna. That one's out of the Raptors and back down for a Mustang point. That was a sharp angle shot to keep that one in play and avoid the antenna, which would have been out of bounds with the Mustangs now lead it nine to eight. Morrill completely out of system here. And the Mustangs back to work. Here's Carly Hinn. That's off of Margheim for another Mustang point. Carly's got a pair of kills in this set. And they now lead it 10 to 8. So Sierra Garrett serving a nice little run here for the Mustangs. And as soon as I brag on her, she puts that one in the net. 10 to 9. Sorry, Sierra, I didn't mean to jinx you. So this will be Jada West. And nobody home to set that one for the Mustangs. And we're tied at 10. Carly Hinn tried to set that serve, rolls off her fingertips. That makes it a one point moral lion advantage. That one just on the line. So good serving by Jada West. Really picking on Carly Hinn. It's now 12 to 10. That one is long. Back to 12-11. Tinsvold in for Gracie Perez. Takes her spot in the front row. Here's Josie Perez. And that one hits the antenna out of bounds. Point Mustangs. That ties it up at 12. And Josie back to work. Drops that one in nicely. That one caught a Raptor and came down at an odd angle, but Jessica Harvey is there to hit it through the block of Bramer for the kill and a moral lion point. Jessica Harvey gets her money's worth. When she hauls off, she leaves it, she put, puts it all into that ball for sure. One point moral lead, Josie. Sets it in the middle for Carly Hinn. Blocked there. A quick tip that time by Josie Perez. And a free ball back to the Mustangs. Josie, Carly has to bump that one up. Josie with the tip across. Martin sees the opening and slaps it home for the Moral Lion point. And a timeout going to be called by the Mustangs. Coach Kim Campbell wants to talk this one over with the troops. Midway through the second set, Moral Lions lead the Mustangs 14 to 12. Accountant Carol Child is your one-stop resource for all your accounting and tax needs and much more. Give her a call at 282-0842 or stop by her office at 216 South Main Street in Gordon. It pays to have an accountant on your side. The certified public accounting firm of Gardner, Lautzenheiser, and Ryan, PC, wishes good luck to the Gordon Rushville Mustangs. Visit with Sarah Rickgarn in the Gordon office at 106 North Main or call 282-1295 for all your tax, payroll, and bookkeeping needs. So 14 to 12 as they are introducing the winners of the cake raffle. The one thing we you've noticed, obviously, watching at home is we're broadcasting instead of being right at even with the net, we're off the back corner of the court. That makes it a big challenge for Berkeley with the camera. She's doing a great job for you here this evening. Here's Carly Hinn out of the middle, off the block. Popped up and then into the net. And the Mustangs pull back within one. Linder's in for Bramer and Paige will step back to serve. Sends it deep to the back row. Margheim across for the Moral Lions. Here's Shania. Big swing by Shania. That's a kill for the Mustangs. We're tied at 14. 
Shania with eight on the night. And then Linders puts that one into the net. 15-14 Morrill. This will be Stephanie Terran. And Josie Perez in the net trying to track that one down. And back to a two-point Morrill Lion advantage. Shania Friesman. And that was an amazing set by Josie Perez. Wasn't necessarily a set as much as it was a bump, but she got to that ball. I think Shania was a little surprised that it was up there and ready to be smacked at. Here's Carly Hinn. West from the back row. Josie Perez for Shania. Tip try that time. Josie sets it behind her for Tinsvold, and that one's in the net. 16, or excuse me, 17 to 15, back to the two-point advantage. And now Jessica Harvey. Overpass on the serve receive that time results in an easy moral lion point. They now lead it by three at 18 to 15. Drop that one in nicely. And a free ball across by the Mustangs. Into the middle. And blocked there by the Mustangs. Friesman there to do the honors that time. It's 18 to 16. Gracie Perez in for Tinsvold, and Gracie will serve. Free ball across. Gracie had come up to get in position to set, and they hit it right where she came from, 19 to 16. So this is Margheim to serve, and that is well out of bounds. Back to a two-point game. It's been close the whole way. Bramer in for Linders. Shania Friesman to serve. That one comes all the way over to the Mustang side. Here's Josie Perez, big swing, and that's a kill for Josie. Josie is a very efficient hitter. Three kills on the night. The Mustangs back within one. Hardheim sets it. And the Mustangs back on offense. Here's Josie Perez. Sharp angle shot. Quick tip, but Josie or Gracie Perez is there. They'll set it across for Josie. Off balance shot, but she got it across. And here's West. Mustangs scrambling. And they're able to send the free ball across. Good rally here. West again, but that attack is wide. And the Mustangs have tied it at 19. The Mustangs scrambling that time, but playing good defense, able to keep it alive. Into the middle for West. Off of a rafter and down on the Mustangs side. We've said that a lot tonight. It's Awfully difficult when they uh, it changes the trajectory. Moral by one. Gracie behind her, and the free ball across by Carly Hinn. Into the middle for Martin. Mustangs back on offense. Friesman mistimed that one. And that attack well beyond the line by West. We're tied at 20. Very competitive second set. Sierra Garrett to serve. Here's Martin on the attack, off the block, and to the floor for a moral point. They're back in front, 21-20. Garrett out, 
And Beth Bragg, Billy Barrow in. And that serve is in the net, tied at 21. Tinsvold in for Gracie Perez. Josie Perez back to serve. That is an ace for Josie, and well-timed it was. And a timeout called by the Moral Alliance. The Mustangs lead it by one late in the second set, 22 to 21. Don't miss out on all the beautiful fall scenery because of your old prescription. Come see the professional staff at Gordon Vision for all your vision needs. Whether you just need a routine checkup or you're just not seeing as well as you used to, they can get you back to 2020 in no time. Check out the great selection of sale items now at Hens Clothing in Gordon. They also have a great selection of sportswear, casual wear, jeans, shoes, and much more. Come to Hens Clothing Center at 208 North Main Street in Gordon. Thanks, Berkeley. Mustangs lead at 22-21. Josie Perez with the serve. And the Moral Lion cheerleaders trying to exhort the student section right down in front of us, trying to get them to get them to cheer a little bit louder. Josie drops that one in neatly. The return over the net and out of bounds. That is an ace for Josie Perez, and that was another well-timed point for the Mustangs. They now to lead it by two, 23-21. Goes hard this time. Overpass, and Carly Hinn slams that one to the floor. No, and they're, I think they called a net violation on the Mustangs. They gave that point to Morrill. And that is very unfortunate for the Mustangs. Pulls the lead back to one at 23-22. Mustangs thought they had something there. Instead, it will be Shaylin Lackey with the serve. Josie sets it in the middle for Carly. Off the block, and right back down it comes. We're tied at 23. And a timeout called by the Mustangs. Tied at 23 late in the second set. Folks, I've got to tell you about a fantastic outfit. If you are in the market, for a like new truck, you need to stop in at Sides and Milburn Ford in Rushville today. This is a 2012 F-150. It's a crew cab, 4x4, XLT patch, package, and it's got a power driver's seat. Five and a half foot box, five liter V8, and it's only got 52,000 miles on it. This truck has a trailer tow package, 18 inch chrome wheels, and it's got running boards. You can buy this truck for 25,950. Call Chris Heiser or Jared Jansen to set up an appointment to see this outstanding vehicle at Sides and Milburn Ford and do it tomorrow. Josie Perez into the middle for him. Blocked again. And the joust that time, but out of bounds by the Mustangs. And now Morrill with set point here at 24-23. Well, the Mustangs are going to have to get tough here. Good serve that time. And Josie Perez wins the, that joust at the net off the blocker, and they tie it at 24. Bramer out, Paige Linder's in. Paige has served very, very well tonight. Tied at 24. Quick tip back to the Mustangs. They'll set it for Friesman. Off the block and down to the floor for Shania. That is her fourth kill of the set, her 10th on the night. Now the Mustangs with a chance to put this one away and another timeout called by Morrill. That is their second. So a back and forth game to finish up this second set. Don't miss the Gordon Theater's open season steak dinner and auction Saturday, November 12th. There's no better way to finish your opening day of deer season than with a delicious steak dinner for only $20 and bid on some great auction items with local auctioneer Sean Combs all to support the reopening of the Gordon Movie Theater. Donations for the auction can be dropped off at the Sheridan County Journal Star. We'll take in that great event on opening night of deer season. 
Mustangs now with a chance to close out this second set. 25-24. Paige Linders will serve for the Mustangs. Friesman, Garrett, and Hinn in the front row. Josie Perez, Beth Bragg, and Linders in the back row for the Mustangs. Good serve by Linders. That's returned out of bounds, and the Mustangs take the second set, 26 to 24. That had some drama to it. And now in between the second and third set, we've got a special presentation. Uh, this is the pink out for breast cancer here in Morrill tonight. And uh, they've got a presentation where they're going to honor all of the breast cancer survivors. And... Uh, we will try to bring that to you. They're doing a lot of activities here tonight. Um, and uh, so let's turn this over to the public address system.
Sometimes that doesn't always come through on the on the microphone as well as what we would like, but a very nice tribute to uh, everyone who, all of the cancer survivors here in Morrill this evening and uh, quite a lot of those folks. So the Mustangs now hold a two sets to none lead. They won the first set 25-14 and then 26-24 in the second. So now for the Mustangs, We've got a new starting lineup as the, now we've got Jacoby Knight. Jacoby wears number 12, and she will get the start in this third set in the place of the regular starter, Sierra Anderson. So on the floor for the Mustangs, it'll be Bramer, Josie Perez, Sierra Garrett, Friesman Hinn, and Knight. Bless you, Bertha. Thanks, Glenn. <laughs> As they are checking the lineups, the down official over at the scorer's table making sure everything is right. For the Moral Lions, Jessica Harvey. Liliana Martin is number six. Number one on the floor is Shandy Hess. Number three is Shaylin Lackey. Two is Jada West. And number five is Bailey Steiner. Steiner now comes out as Stephanie Terran, the libero, comes in to take her place. As that was not number one Hess, that was number seven, Caitlin Margheim. So Margheim, Harvey, and Martin in the front row. Lackey West and Terran in the back row for Morrill. Ready to get things going. Morrill with the serve to start this third set. That serve is deep and beyond the end line. And the Mustangs out in front, one to zero. Josie Perez will serve to start things off. So West comes out and Laura Sherrod in for Morrill. Set it for Harvey, off the tape and back to the Moral Lions side for a Mustang point. It's two to zero. Well, this is an athletic Moral Lions team. Is that overpass back to the Mustangs, but then right back to Moral. Here's Harvey, tip try. In with a quick dump behind her head and Returned by the Moral Lions. The free ball by Beth Bragg miscalculated. And that's a Moral Lion point. It's two to one. More miscommunication for the Mustangs. We're tied at two. Jacoby Knight, he is a freshman as well. So Knight. Bramer and Josie Perez in the front row as Terran serves. Here's Friesman with the free ball. Lackey sets it in the middle. Tip, but Josie Perez is there. Free ball, and that's going to fall on the Moral Lions side for a Mustang point. It's three to two. And Paige Linders in to serve for the Mustangs. Perrin with the free ball over to the Mustangs. Josie Perez, the set. Friesman off the block and down. And they're going to say a net violation on the Moral Lions. It's 4-2. This has been a great part of the rotation for the Mustangs with Linders serving Friesman and Hinn at the net. There's a block by Shania. Margheim with the attack. Here's Hinn in the middle. That's off the blocker. And the free ball across to the Mustangs. Good defense by the Lions. Here's Shania Friesman. Big swing down to the floor. Mustang point. A whole bunch of marks in the Shania Friesman column tonight. 
She's got 11. Good serve. Not going to be returned. Paige Linder's doing a great job this evening. Six to two. Certainly hope you'll join us a week from tonight. Well, the triangular when the Mustangs take on another. There's another ace for Paige. Her third of the night. Mustangs will take on Mitchell and Bridgeport next week. We'll have that action for you here. And finally, she sends that one a little bit too long. And it's seven to three. So Sherrod comes out. And back into the game comes number two, West. So here's Harvey's serve, and that's well beyond the end line. And this will be Carly Hinn. Eight to three Mustangs. They lead this two sets to none. Trying to close it out here. Set it up. This is West with the tip. Friesman down to the ground and up quickly again. Nice job that time. Mustangs with the triple block. And in the net is Steiner for Morrill. That's a Mustang point. And that makes it nine to three. Mustangs with three blockers up that time. Harley Hinn serve. Nobody wanted to take that one. And it's 10 to three and a timeout called by the Morrill Lions. The well, Morrill really gave the Mustangs everything they could handle in that second set. Not playing quite as sharp in this third one. Come bank with the best. Bank of the West offers all banking services, including mortgages. Come enjoy our welcoming atmosphere. The coffee pot's always on. Located at 205 North Main Street in Gordon. Proudly celebrating over 125 years of locally made decisions and supporting our community, First National Bank wishes good luck to the Mustangs this season. Ask us about our competitive student checking accounts. Mustangs lead it by seven in this third set. As they announce a few more names from the uh, cake raffle winners. Carly Hinn with the serve, and the Mustangs with a seven point lead. Margheim sets it. Carly just barely cleared the net with that one. And the free ball across. Josie for Garrett. She's going to be not much she could do with that. As she tried to get it over, it didn't work. She's called for the lift. 11 4. So this is Lackey on the serve. Good serve, overpass, and smacked back to the floor by Steiner. 11 to 5. Hardheim sets it up again. Hinn has trouble with that one. And the result is a free ball across to Morrill. They'll set it up. This is Taryn, the libero on the attack, and she finds the back corner. So after that. Big run by the Mustangs. Now the Morrill Lions with a run of their own. They trail by five. Free ball by Garrett. They'll set it up for, that's Harvey out of the back row and she knocks it down. And all of a sudden, the Morrill Lions can do no wrong. an ace for Margheim. And Coach Campbell is going to call a timeout and try to regroup a little bit here. They've cut the lead to three at 11 to eight. Family owned since 1932. Strong Insurance is your independent insurance company offering all forms of insurance. Stop in today at 224 North Main Street in Gordon. Ball is officially here, and there's a lot to be done around your home and yard. Gordon True Value has everything you need to get your home and yard ready for fall and winter. Come see Buck and the gang at 217 North Main Street in Gordon. 
open seven days a week. Well, be sure to join us this Friday night, Mustangs final game of the season. They'll take on the Kozad Haymakers from Kozad. We certainly hope you will join us for that. Mustangs at four and four with a chance to finish with a winning record this season. Margheim serve, set by Carly Hinn. Shania Friesman on the attack. She got all of that one. And that one returned by Morrill into the net, so they break the string. Well done there, and here is Gracie Perez coming in to serve. Jacoby Knight heads to the bench. 12 to eight, Mustangs lead it by four. Argrim has to run a long way to get to that one. West with the attack. Now here's Josie Perez. And that one is just out of bounds. 12 to nine. Steiner to serve. In with the set. Josie Perez able to send that one across. Sharp angle. Nice shot as one of the Moral Lions was in the net, but no call. And they give that point to Morrill. 12 to 10. The Mustangs have built a seven point lead. That has just about evaporated. Friesman off the block of Martin. And Harvey puts that one into the net for a Mustang point. 13 to 10 Mustangs. And Shania Friesman to serve. That one just beyond the end line. And back to a two point lead. The West will come out and the freshman Sherrod comes in to serve. Sends it over with confidence, and then the overpass by the Mustangs. Harvey just barely got that over. She got the, a lot of tape, but it dribbled over the net for a moral lion point, and now we got a one-point game. Gracie sets it up. Josie on the attack, off the block, and down. Point for the Mustangs. Stretches it back to two. We haven't had much from Josie. That's her fourth kill of the match. And now Sierra Garrett to serve. Lackey with the set. Harvey but blocked by Carly Hinn and Faith Bramer. That was a big one. Lackey let that one fly but it came right back over to the Moral Lions side. It's 15 to 12. Set it for Harvey. That one's going to come over just right. Now they're going to they're going to say it was in. The line judge initially ruled it out, but then said no, I couldn't see. It is a Mustang point. Makes it 16 to 12. Down official got the call right, I believe. Here's Harvey again. Pass the block, out of bounds. No touch for the Mustangs. Now back to a five point advantage at 17 to 12. In the middle for Martin, tips it over the Mustang block. Hinn with a quick tip try right at the net, wins the joust. Give Carly another kill, that's six for her on the night. And a six point advantage for the Mustangs. Garrett with another serve. Tip try, but the Mustangs are there. Gracie sets it up. Josie off balance, and she couldn't get that one to go. Josie couldn't quite get where she needed to be to make an effective attack that time. So here is Shaylin Lackey to serve, and the Mustangs have a five point advantage. Carly Hinn from the left side. That's off of Sherrod. Now Harvey with the tip. And the big swing by Harvey. Puts that one down for Morrill. 
18 to 14. And I am a little surprised that they don't get Harvey more involved in the offense on a regular basis. They catch her once in a while when she comes around, but not a regular fixture in their offense. And that one falls harmlessly to the floor. And Morrill clawing their way back into it. They trail by three. Good serve by Lackey. Here's Hinn. Through the block and down to the floor. Give Carly another kill. And that will be seven. Gracie Perez out. Jacoby Knight into the front row. 19 to 15. And Josie with the service error. Hits it out of bounds. Martin out. Steiner in for Morrill. Heron with the serve. Josie Perez pops it up. Shania Friesman on the attack. Quick tip try, but Friesman is there. Here's Hinn in the middle. But blocked at the net by Harvey. And we've got a two-point game. For Stephanie Terran to serve. That one a little tight to the net. Harvey in the net. And that'll be a point for the Mustangs. Jessica Harvey got a little over anxious that time. 20 to 17, and now Paige Linder Linders in to serve. This has been the Mustangs' best part of the rotation this evening. Harvey on the attack, overpass by the Mustangs, and back to Morrill. Steiner tried to tip it, but she didn't get enough of it. And put it into the net, 21 to 17. And a timeout called by Morrill. Mustangs with a four point advantage as we head down the back stretch, down the home stretch actually. Go ahead, Bert. Accountant Carol Child is your one stop resource for all your accounting and tax needs and much more. Give her a call at 282 0842 or stop by her office at 216 South Main Street in Gordon. It pays to have an accountant on your side. Check out the great selection of sale items now at Hints Clothing in Gordon. They also have a great selection of sportswear, casual wear, jeans, shoes, and much more. 21-17, the Mustangs four points away from closing this one out. Paige Linders with the serve. Steiner on the attack, and another overpass by the Mustangs, but Bragg is there. They'll set it in the middle for Carly Hinn. She knows what to do with that one. She had three in the first, two in the second, three more here in the third, 22-17. They'll set it back to Steiner, pops that one over. Here's Friesman off balance, and that one didn't work well at all. 22-18. Jada West will check back in for Sherrod. And it'll be Jessica Harvey to serve. Into the middle for Carly Hinn. Blocked at the net. Now the Mustangs back on offense. Janiah Friesman with a big swing, but too big, and out of bounds. 22-19, and Harvey to serve again. So dangerous with that serve. Into the middle for Hinn. Goff the blocker, and down it goes. Mustangs inching closer, 23-19. Harley Hinn will serve. They'll set it across for West. Josie Perez with a set. Friesman blockers and down it goes. And it'll be match point now for the Mustangs. 
Carly Hinn will serve for the match. They set it for West. Hinn is there to dig it out. Here's Knight on the attack. And the free ball across to the Mustangs. Friesman, the swing, and just, uh, just beyond the end line. We'll play another one. And now it will be Margheim to serve. 24-20. Another match point for the Mustangs. Josie Perez sets it up, but a little tight to the net. The Mustangs in pure defensive mode here. They're not going to get that one to come back. 24-21. Things need to get tough here and finish this one off. Here's Shania, mistiming on that one. She couldn't quite get to it, 24 to 22. And a timeout called by Coach Campbell. Stop into Grocery Mart at 228 North Main Street in Gordon for great food and more and a friendly hometown atmosphere. Stock up during the fall harvest sale going on now. See it all in this week's flyer in the Journal Star. Grocery Mart, your home-owned grocery store. Thanks, Berkeley. 24-22, the Mustangs one point away from taking this match. Say thanks to those good sponsors that let us come down a road trip down here tomorrow this afternoon and bring you some fun volleyball action. Markheim will serve. Mustangs just need one more point. And the free ball across by Garrett. Margheim with the set. Here's West on the attack. Off the block. Garrett will have to send this free ball across. Harvey out of the back row in the net. And that is a Mustang winner. They take the third set, 25-22. And they take the match. Three straight sets, final scores of 25-14, 26-24, and 25-22. Thanks very much for joining us. Tune in on Friday night for football action from Cozad. And then a week from today, next Tuesday, the Mustangs with their final triangular of the season where they will face Mitchell and Bridgeport. And that is always a good one. Thanks very much for joining us. And we hope you'll join us next time. For Berkeley Haig, I am Clint Anderson. And we hope to see you on Friday here on SheridanCountyJournalStar.net.